the accountant. Like a CPA accountant? Not quite. Cynthia. Hi. So you play Mary Beth Medina in The Accountant, and I heard that there were hundreds of actresses that auditioned for this role. And when Gavin saw you, he said, okay, she's the one. <laughs> what is it that you think about your audition that made him say, she's got to be in this film? Um, you know, it's interesting because luckily they don't tell you you're up against you know, <laughs> hundreds of actresses going in. So really, you know, you just start sort of doing your version of who you think this character is. And there was something I really responded to when I read the script and, and felt that I could sort of relate to her in a, in a certain kind of way. And, you know, really you just want to sort of create somebody who feels like a real person and is, you know, fully realized. So I tried to do the best that I could, and in this instance it, it worked in my favor. So, you know, getting the chance to be, you know, part of a film like this with, with a cast like this, working with a director, um, you know, that I admire. It really has been an incredible experience from start to finish. And now Justice League, there seems to be like this little connection. You play, play Amanda Waller and Arrow, and then you have Ben who plays Batman, JK is playing um, in the film as well. Do you see, did you notice like a connection about that at all? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think actors right now, you know, you're getting all these opportunities for different genres and obviously, you know, comic book genre and, mm -hmm. and superheroes is you know still a huge thing going on both in television and film and what's really cool is you know getting to play a really larger than life character uh, you know an iconic role that you know many other people have played and has been around for you know for many years um, and then switching to something completely different and you know in a way you know I sort of worked on other projects that felt very sort of larger than life and sort of like bigger louder if you will roles and this was something that felt really sort of grounded and quiet. And, and I would say it's the same, I think, for, for Ben and JK too. It's like, you know, it's a, just a completely different world that we're in in this movie. And it's nice to have the choice to sort of go back and forth and do both. Christian Wolf. Rin. Christian Wolf last year ran $75,543 through his accounting Whoa. firm. Who is Christian Wolf? The accountant. Well. He's playing with us. He can't clean that kind of money through an accounting firm. The paper trail's too heavy, so he's laundering it through cash businesses. All of those are in the same strip mall south of Chicago. Z, Z, Z. I mean, he doesn't care about the traffic. It's a front. All of it. Christian Wolf, Carl Gauss, Lou Lewis Carroll. He's using the names of famous mathematicians as a cover. So you're telling me this guy risks his life doing forensic accounting for some of the scariest people on the planet? collects his fee, goes to all the trouble of laundering it, and then gives almost all of it away. Well, what if he's taking other means of payment? No, yeah, possible, yeah. I got him, Ray. Maybe. Pack a bag, we're going to Chicago. With the election coming up, do you think that Ben's character and the accountant would be able to get that one last candidate to be able to release their taxes? <laughs> hmm, that would be nice. Um, I don't know, maybe he was the one that slipped the manila envelope to the New York Times. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I guess all that stuff will, will sort of come out as it's coming, as it seems to be coming out. And you have your uh, TV show that you're starring in with Ryan Philippi. Can you tell us more about it? Called Shooter mm -hmm. on USA. Can you tell us just a little bit about what to expect from the show? Yeah, so it's based off the Mark Wahlberg film from 2007, and it's for USA Network. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of an extension of, you know, what you saw in the film. And uh, Mark Wahlberg and Stephen Levinson are producing this TV version. Um, but we have... 10 episodes sort of expand on that story. And, and in the series I played, Nadine Memphis, she's an FBI agent. And, um, you know, I'm really excited for that. That's going to be coming out in the fall. And really for both of these projects to sort of be happening around the same time. Great it's, timing. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, wow, okay, I can't believe it. it. You know, I've been sort of working on both of these things for the last year and a half and and so now they're finally all finding their way in the world which is really nice well congratulations on much more continued success thank you very thank much you.